Hey everybody, Michael Crump back here again covering all of the latest and the greatest PlayStation 4 homebrew news and much, much more. Today I am bringing to you a way to unlock PS4 trophies without actually achieving them. Yes, I know, that's kind of sad. By the way, special thanks for the tip to this person who mentioned this in my Discord. And you should be checking out our Discord as well. Okay, and so this page right here is a list of some of the trophies that have already been unlocked. And it looks like this list is growing tremendously every single day. So if you come in here to this page, fairly new title, so like Aliens, Fireteam Elite, God of War, there's obviously Grand Theft Auto, and uh, all of the different Resident Evils, and much, much more. So go ahead and pick out the PKG that you would like to cheat in, and go ahead and put it on a USB drive. We're going to need that in just a second. The other thing that we're going to need is we're going to need this DB browser for SQLite. I'm not going to spool while we need this right now, but just go ahead and head over to this page, and if you go to the Downloads button up here, I'm just using Windows, and I'm using Windows 64-bit. If you're using Mac, it looks like it's got some support for that as well as for Linux. Okay, to the PS4. Okay, go ahead and load up PS4 Explorer. And in my instance, what I did was I downloaded every single one of the PKG files just so I would have them readily available. What I am going to do is I'm going to scroll down through this list, and one of the games that I'm going to unlock all the trophies for is going to simply be Resident Evil Village. So I'm going to select this package. I'm going to hit the X button here. You should see something like Unlocker for Game Name, and then just press the X button, and you should see Added to Downloads. You can see that it has just now finished installing, but first I'm going to go to my game and I'm going to go down to information. And this is the version that I was using. I didn't test it on a bunch of other different versions of different games, but I have an unpatched Resident Evil Village game currently on my system. So We'll go ahead and we'll navigate back to the actual trophy unlocker. And once this loads up, hit the X button. And okay, so this is the main menu. A couple of things to note here is, is that it does say you can go up and down to select the trophy. Right now I'm just on trophy number two. Obviously there's 49 of these and so you can just scroll through them to find it. Um, X unlocks it but that only unlocks that one individual one. Uh, o goes back for the options button. That unlocks everything, which I'm sure everyone that is watching this video is going to be hitting the options button. And then you can hit the triangle here to show the trophy list. So let's go ahead and do that part of it first. And you will have to go through these two dialogues. There's this one, you got to go update later, and then this one is trophy information saved on the PS4. As you can see, I have zero trophies in this current game. So a bunch of these were hidden. At least they were hidden up there at the top. Uh, down at the bottoms, are a few more. Let's go ahead and let's start that process of unlocking each and every one of the trophies here. So there we go. We got a trophy. And now I'm just going to speed this video up. You can see the timer um, going. It basically took, I think, about six minutes <laughs> to unlock all of these trophies. So uh, once this finishes up, we're going to go and double check and make sure that everything completed successfully. Okay, so let's go to update later again and then back to the trophy information. And then we have 100% all trophies. High five. All right, let's see what else we've got down here. Oh, yes, we have platinum trophies as well. We've got it all. Okay, so 
That was fun, but there's a lot more to be explored here. Let's go into one of these. We'll go into the legendary cowboy. And we are going to, this is a silver one. We're just going to go in and click on the where it says view here. And once we do that, we see that by default, it takes a screenshot. Now, just keep in mind, I'm just showing you this way, but there's going to be some additional information on how to turn these screenshots back off in case you want to do other things with all of these trophies that you've unlocked and not be totally, totally embarrassed. Okay, so how I just showed you how to use some pre-built PKGs, there are a couple of other options. One of them is by coming over to this GitHub URL, and this is by the Dark Programmer, and it's just called PS4 Tools. And if you scroll down into this package, you can see that there is this PS4 Tools Homebrew. So this is a fairly recent application, I believe in Christmas of this past year in 2021, it came out. This is an application that runs just on your PlayStation 4, which will allow you to unlock trophies for games that you already have installed on your system. And so this is the one that we're gonna take a look at in just a moment. And you would need to come back up here and click on releases and then just scroll down and you're going to want to download this PKG file right here. Go ahead and put it on your USB drive and we're gonna be installing that in just a moment. And I wanted to mention one other tool that is built by this person. So if you scroll down into the same PS4 tools, there's another application here. It's just called PS4 Trophy Unlocker. And so for this tool, all you have to do is you come in here, you punch in your IP address, you hit the connect button here, and where it says game here, it lists out the different games that you already have installed on your system. So in this one, it says don't starve, console edition, and you can press this build unlocker button and it will create a PKG file for you. Now, this isn't brand new to the 9.00 jailbreak. It has been around for some time. I've had a bit of a hit and a miss with this application so far. Now, I'm showing you this just where you have a couple of different options instead of just looking for A, either the pre-built ones or using this PS4 Tools application that we're going to look at on the PlayStation 4. Okay, PS4 Explorer, and I'm just going to go down to that package, and let's just go ahead and get this thing installed. Hit X here. Okay, it can take a minute or so just to load up. Just be a bit patient. Okay, and so here it's finally loaded, and here's where you will begin. Let's go ahead and hit the triangle button for the trophies, and it states here, it says, this is still a work in progress. It says, when unlocking a trophy and mounting another one, you might be kicked out to the user select screen. Just run the app again for that game. Um, it will work on the first mount. Do you understand? And yes, there is a settings in this application where you can go and turn some of these things off. We'll hit yes here. And this loads all of the trophies that's currently available. Now, the user interface can obviously use a little bit of work but you kind of get what the program is trying to do here. So I'll start by picking Sonic Mania. And you may get this error right here. Now, I got this error. I tried Sonic and another, like, two games. I got this on two of the three games that I tried, which is why I want to give you a couple of different options. If you see this error, then more than likely, the error here will state something like Trophy Error Title Configuration not installed. So originally I was thinking this may have something to do with is the title installed on the system. Obviously it is, it's working well, but I got this on again, a couple of different games. So you can either hit okay on this or you can just close back out of the application. If a game has like 50 trophies, well then there's 50 dialog boxes that's gonna pop up. Again, the developer states this is a work in progress. So hit okay. 
and I am going to go back to Uncharted. So Uncharted is another game that I had on here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the X button here. And there we go. The trophies are starting to unlock. What's interesting here is that I didn't have to go download another package that somebody may or may not have in that Mediafire link in order to get these trophies unlocked. So let's go. Let's view the trophy information so far. So there's a couple of our gold and silver trophies. Let's go ahead and let's refresh this. And now we're back at 100%. And we can scroll down here and we can see that everything looks good. We're going to continue to get these pop-ups because Sony didn't intend people getting this many trophies at once. I know what you're saying, Michael, but it's saving a screenshot with the trophy. What happens if somebody happens to see that and then they learn that I'm just a fake? Well, there's a couple of things that we can do for the screenshot. Let's go ahead and address that one first. So if you press your share button, you can go to where it says sharing and broadcast settings. And then there is screenshot settings. And then take the check off of this one, which says take screenshot automatically when you earn a trophy. So in this instance, now every time we get a trophy, there's not going to be a screenshot that shows that we're just simply cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> if someone else ever looked at it. So you may be thinking now, okay, well, great. Thank you. No more screenshots associated with my cheating. Now, what about all of those trophies have a date and a time that's attached to them? Can we do anything about that? Okay. So let's head back out of this and let's switch back over to our computer. The very first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to FTP into your PlayStation 4. I have went ahead and I've FTP'd into mine and you can see that you're going to need to go into the folder that's called slash user slash home slash your ID slash trophy slash DB and you're going to see there is a file that's in there, and it's just simply called trophy underscore local dot db. Go ahead and drag and drop that to a folder that's on your computer because we're about to open that file. Okay, so hopefully you downloaded the db browser for SQLite setup, and if you did, let's go ahead and install that now. So I'm just going to click next accept next and i went ahead and added some of these icons here you can do what you would like next next and then install and then finish and now let's go ahead and open up that application so we're going to use administrator this time and now click open database and then trophy underscore local dot db and you'll be where i'm at now we need to click where it says browse data. So let's go ahead and do that. And then on browse data, trophy flag. Okay, so the trophy flag is where you're going to want to go into. And from here, you can see there is a couple of different columns. So you'll see that there is trophies that's listed underneath the title, but there's also a state that's called visible and also one that says unlocked. If they have a zero in them where it says unlocked, then that means that that trophy is not unlocked yet on your system. If it has a one in that column, then that trophy is unlocked. So there's also this title and this description in case you need to search based off of the title of the trophy. You can also filter. So I'm going to pick this one right here, which is just called casual treasure hunter now i played uncharted so i know that this is uncharted's trophy and what i'm going to do here is is that there is this time unlocked as well as a time unlocked you see so i'm going to change the date that and the time that this trophy was unlocked where it doesn't look like i unlocked 100 trophies within a matter of 
five seconds. I'm just going to go back one day. So where it says 0110, I'm just going to go back to the 9th of January. So I'm just going to remove these two items and put in a 09. I'm also going to do that same exact thing right over here for the time unlocked UC for this simple example. Okay, perfect. Up at the very top, there is this Write Changes button. I'm going to click on that. And now these changes have been saved back to my local database. Now we need to take that file and we need to upload it back to our PlayStation 4. Okay, so this one is called Casual Treasure Hunter and it has the not for the date. Here is the existing trophy underscore local.db. So I'm just going to drag and drop mine to a folder here. And once that's finished, I'm going to rename this thing and I'm just going to put in original or a ridge underscore trophy underscore local.db. Now I'm going back into the DB file that we just modified and we just saved. So I'm now I'm going to take that from my local computer and I'm going to drag that back over to my PlayStation 4. Okay, looks like it succeeded. Back to the PlayStation 4. I'm just going to head into notifications since this is a recent thing that happened and go to view trophy information. And here they are. So you can sort if you would like to by earn date. And if I scroll down to the very bottom here, you can see that for the casual treasure hunter, it has now been unlocked on January the 9th, 2022 versus the one that was for the 10th. And so now let's go and let's look at all of our incredibly hard work that we've done here. Let's go back into trophies. And there we are, Resident Evil Village and Uncharted. We have all the platinum trophies along with all of the other trophies. It took about five minutes and we're done. We're good. All right. Well, I hope this video helped you out quite a bit. If you can, leave a like and smash that subscribe button. I'm also going live on Sundays here at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll see you then. Michael, out!